I'm here with Chris at Hook, Line, and Paddle, and what we're going to talk about today is the eddy line line of recreational kayaks that are wide enough for an old guy to lift. Chris, this is the 50th anniversary for eddy line, and I understand you've got some of their new boats in that we want to look at today. Yep, that's right. So, Steve, we'll start out with the Rio. It's 11 feet. It's 35 pounds and the retail on it is $14.29. The max capacity weight for this boat's 270 pounds. And what makes them so light is that they're thermoformed ABS. So Eddie Line's a company based out of uh, Northwest Washington State. Um, so we're kind of a, the area dealer for them. And again, like you said in your intro, they're super light, but they're also super durable. And sometimes that's the myth where if it's that light, can it be that durable? And yes, they are that durable. So with the Rio at 11 foot, you get a very sharp bow entry, makes the kayak very efficient. Um, they give you dry storage in the bow, dry storage in the stern, plenty of deck rigging to strap down the stuff you need for a day, which is awesome. Really cool handle system where they put it on a bungee. So you got it where you can pick it up and carry it with ease. But when you put it down, it kind of retracts nice low profile out of the way. Um, <clears throat> so this is their red in the Rio. Their, their seat systems are nice gel neoprene, super comfortable. Foot pegs are easily adjustable. Again, back here you have more deck rigging, your, 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 your stern dry hatch, um, and, and the stern handle is also the same, same as the bow. Where it's on a nice bungee, retracts, tucks away real, real neat and easy. Um, you know, 11 foot Rio is great maybe for that older customer uh, who's a little bit, you know, apprehensive of looking at a boat like this and road and the polyethylene you're going to be in that 49 to maybe 54 pound range you know we're at 35 so really great boat so moving over we have the skylark which is 12 foot uh, similar uh you know design aspect of the hull again you get your bow hatch for dry storage same handle system plenty of deck rigging up front a little bit of a larger cockpit in the skylark compared to the rio same seat same foot pegs and you got the same uh, dry storage in the stern, including with the same handle. Uh, Skylark's going to come in at 40, I'm going to look and not lie to you, 41 pounds, and it's also $1,429, same ABS thermoform material. This is their yellow. Again, if you want something a little bit longer, a little faster, carry a little bit, carry a little bit more of a load while you're on the water, the Skylark would do that. And the final one we have in stock is the Sandpiper 130. So that's going to put this boat at 13 feet. You get that a little bit of a bigger cockpit than the Skylark, but you're also getting their cloud foam, their cloud, their cloud 10 uh, frame seat, which is removable and installation. It goes right into the seat pan and you turn your knobs to lock it in place. So again, you got a nice big breathable seat and nice big cockpit. 13 foot kayak, again, you can carry a little bit more gear than you can in the 12. You still get your dry, your dry storage hatch in the front. Uh, larger dry storage hatch in the stern, because we're at 13 feet, there's more room back here. Um, this one comes in at 1629, being a little bit larger of a boat and also getting the, uh, the Cloud 10 seat. We are at Thank you, Chris. 49 pounds, and with the seat out, we're down to 45. So nice nice lineup um they do make some pretty technical um touring kayaks uh you know we just kind of stick with more of the rec market here um the one that we've already sold out of they do make a sandpiper which is 12 foot you're going to have the larger cockpit like you have in the 13 compared to the skylark but you're gonna have the same seat system as in the skylark so if you want that that cloud 10 uh seat that you're going to get that when you get to the sandpiper 130. so Again, these are great kayaks for our coastal area here in North Carolina, great on lakes. I mean, it's, it's fantastic across the whole country. These aren't just coastal boats. These aren't just inland boats. They're just a great day touring kayak. Get out, go, go paddle an island, go paddle a river, enjoy yourself, have fun, and you're gonna shave some weight. That does come a little bit of a cost, and that's in, in price. They are lighter. They're a little bit more expensive to make. The material's a little bit more expensive for these kayaks, but Again, you get this, you get great durability, quality, U.S. made boat, and just a fantastic craft to paddle. So, 
Happy 50th anniversary to Eddie Line. Keep cranking those boats out for us. So there you go. Thank you very much, Chris. Thanks, Contact information is down below. And I encourage you, if you're interested in one of these recreational models, to come on by. He's a dealer for these, so it's not a one-time thing. He'll have them forever. Take care.